Have you ever wondered why men are more likely to be colorblind than women? Our journey today takes us deep into the fascinating world of human genetics, a realm where the blueprint of our physical traits is written. Let's start with the basics. Human cells house 46 chromosomes divided into 23 pairs. One of these pairs, called the sex chromosomes, determines our biological sex. Men carry an X and a Y chromosome while women carry two X chromosomes. Now here's where things get intriguing. Some genes, the segments of DNA that dictate our traits, are located only on the X chromosome, making them X-linked traits. Picture a library. Imagine that the X chromosome is a book containing a recipe for a specific trait. Women, having two X chromosomes, have two copies of this book. Men on the other hand, with one X and one Y chromosome, have only one copy. Let's use colorblindness as an example. The gene responsible for this trait is found only on the X chromosome. If a woman inherits one defective copy, she still has a functioning copy on her other X chromosome, making her less likely to be colorblind. For men however, it's a different story, since they have only one X chromosome, if they inherit a defective colorblindness gene, there's no backup. The result? They are more likely to be colorblind. Now this doesn't mean that all men are doomed to a world without the full spectrum of colors. It simply means that they are more susceptible to X-linked traits, such as colorblindness, due to their genetic makeup. So, the mystery of colorblindness prevalence in men lies in the X chromosomal DNA. A fascinating testament to the intricate complexities of our genetic code, don't you think? But hold on, there's more to the story. So stick around as we delve deeper into the enigma of X chromosomal DNA. But what exactly does the X chromosomal DNA do, you may ask? Well, it serves as a critical player in the symphony of our genetics, carrying out functions that help us navigate the world around us. The X chromosome, one of the 23 pairs of chromosomes in each cell of our bodies, is a genetic powerhouse. This DNA-packed structure carries approximately 800 to 900 genes. To give you some perspective, the entire human genome is estimated to hold between 20,000 to 25,000 genes. That means the X chromosome holds a significant fraction of our genetic blueprint. But it's not just about quantity, it's about quality too. The genes on the X chromosome are not just any genes. They are essential to both sexes, playing a crucial role in our development and daily functioning. Have you ever wondered what controls our cognitive functions? It's the X chromosomal DNA. Several genes found on the X chromosome are associated with brain development and cognition. This includes learning, memory, and even our ability to understand and respond to social cues. Not just our brains, the X chromosome also plays a role in our immune response. Certain genes on the X chromosome are involved in the functioning of our immune system, helping us ward off diseases and stay healthy. Moreover, the X chromosome is also involved in determining sex. While women carry two X chromosomes, men carry one X and one Y chromosome. The presence or absence of the Y chromosome determines the sex of an individual. But the X chromosome carries genes necessary for the development of both males and females. So, whether it's thinking, socializing, fighting off a cold, or even determining our sex, the X chromosomal DNA has a say in it all. It's like the multitasking genius of our genetic world, quietly directing many aspects of our life. Clearly, the X chromosomal DNA plays a crucial role in our bodies, and as we delve deeper into the mysteries of our genes we continue to discover just how vital this chromosome truly is. Now you might be wondering, why do women with two X chromosomes not have double the effects of these genes? Well nature has a rather fascinating way of dealing with this. It's a process known as X chromosome inactivation, and it's one of the most intriguing aspects of genetics. To put it simply, X chromosome inactivation is a type of gene regulation that occurs in female mammals. You see, women, unlike men, possess two X chromosomes, but having double the X chromosomal genes doesn't mean double the action. Instead, one of these X chromosomes is randomly switched off or silenced during the early stages of embryonic development. But how does this happen? It's a complex process orchestrated by a region on the X chromosome known as the X inactivation center. This region emits a signal, a cascade of RNA molecules, that envelops the chromosome, effectively silencing most of its genes. And here's where it gets even more interesting. This inactivation is random, meaning it can be either the X chromosome inherited from the mother, or the one from the father that gets switched off. As the embryo develops into a multicellular organism, the cells divide, and the inactivated X chromosome is passed on to all descendant cells. 
This random inactivation leads to a mosaic pattern of gene expression in females, where some cells express genes from the maternal X chromosome and others from the paternal one. This is why female calico cats, for example, have patches of different colors. Each color is the expression of an X-linked gene from either the mother or the father. So, the process of X chromosome inactivation ensures a balance or dosage compensation between males and females. It's nature's way of ensuring that despite having two X chromosomes, the gene dosage remains the same as in males, who have only one X chromosome. So, despite having two X chromosomes, women essentially use only one, just like men. This fascinating mechanism of X chromosome inactivation is a testament to the complexity and the wonder of our genetic makeup. But what happens when something goes wrong with the X chromosomal DNA? Well, buckle up, because this is where we delve into the realm of X-linked genetic disorders. These disorders are caused by mutations in genes on the X chromosome. One of the most well-known X-linked disorders is hemophilia, a bleeding disorder where the blood doesn't clot properly. This is due to a deficiency in one of the blood clotting factors, which are proteins crucial for clot formation. Hemophiliacs often experience uncontrolled bleeding, either externally from cuts or internally into joints or muscles. Another X-linked disorder that might ring a bell is Duchenne muscular dystrophy. This is a progressive muscle degeneration and weakness due to the alterations of a protein called dystrophin, which is necessary for muscle fiber stability. Individuals affected by Duchenne muscular dystrophy often have difficulty moving and maintaining balance, and their lifespan is unfortunately often shortened due to respiratory and cardiac complications. Now, here's something to ponder over. These X-linked disorders are more common in men. But why is that? Remember men have one X and one Y chromosome, while women have two X chromosomes. If a man inherits an X chromosome carrying a gene that causes a disorder like hemophilia or Duchenne muscular dystrophy, he will develop the disorder because he doesn't have a second X chromosome to compensate. On the other hand, a woman who inherits the same faulty X chromosome may not show symptoms of the disorder because her second X chromosome may carry a healthy version of the gene. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Understanding these disorders and how they're passed on not only helps us better manage them, but it also provides us with valuable insights into the function and importance of our X chromosomal DNA. These disorders highlight the importance and the fragility of our X chromosomal DNA. Our understanding of X chromosomal DNA has come a long way, but there's still much to learn. And so, we delve into the fascinating world of ongoing research in the field of X chromosomal DNA. Remarkably, every day, scientists around the world are making strides in better understanding this complex genetic component. In the bustling labs, countless hours are spent studying the X chromosome. The goal? To uncover the secrets it holds and hopefully find breakthroughs that could lead to treatments for X-linked disorders. These disorders, as we've discussed, can have profound effects on those who carry them. But with each new discovery, we come one step closer to potential treatments, and even cures. Consider the recent studies into Fragile X Syndrome, the most common inherited form of intellectual disability. Researchers are looking at ways to reactivate the silenced FMR1 gene on the X chromosome, potentially reducing symptoms. This could revolutionize the lives of those affected by the condition. Or take the ongoing research into Rett syndrome, a severe neurological disorder. Scientists are exploring gene therapy techniques to replace the mutated MECP2 gene on the X chromosome. This could potentially halt or even reverse the progression of the disorder. Then there's the cutting-edge field of epigenetics. Scientists are delving into how environmental factors can influence the way our genes, including those on the X chromosome, are expressed. This research could open up new avenues for preventing and treating not just X-linked disorders, but a host of other conditions as well. As we delve deeper into the world of X chromosomal DNA, we're reminded of the vast potential that lies within our own genetic makeup. The X chromosome, once seen as a simple component of our DNA, is now understood to be a complex and vital part of our biology. As we continue to unravel the secrets of X chromosomal DNA, who knows what other mysteries we might uncover? If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.